It's no secret that Dayton, Ohio is the very proud hometown of the famous Wright brothers, Wilbur and Orville. But what about the Wright sister, Catherine Wright? The youngest sister of the Flying Brothers, Catherine was a pioneer all the same and arguably the secret to her brother's success. Catherine was born in 1874 and attended Dayton's Central High School. After graduation, Catherine studied to become a teacher, and after earning a degree from Oberlin College, she took a position teaching Latin at Steele High School in Dayton. She was the only one in the family to receive a college education, and she used her steady teaching salary to help fund her brother's early experiments and trips to Kitty Hawk, culminating in the famous first flight in 1903. Catherine was an amazing businesswoman. On top of her teaching position, she managed the family bicycle shop, and as the flying business grew, she managed official correspondence, funded further developments, and provided valuable solutions for the budding aviation company. In 1908, after a week of successful and record-breaking flights, disaster struck when a broken propeller sent the Wright brothers airplane out of control. The crash killed Army Lieutenant Thomas Selfridge and seriously injured Orville. Catherine immediately went to Orville's bedside and rarely left his room during a long recuperation. Orville later said that without the aid of his sister, he would have died. As the company grew, Catherine Wright became somewhat of a celebrity, being far more outgoing and charming than her notoriously shy brothers. She often represented her brothers in public and negotiated early aviation contracts with the U.S. Army Signal Corps. Ever the diplomat, she learned French in order to speak with European dignitaries during the Wright's International Exhibition trips. The French newspapers were fascinated by her charm, business acumen, and what they saw as the human side of the Wrights. She was awarded, along with Wilbur and Orville, the French Legion of Honor, making her one of the very few women in the U.S. who have received it. The three Wrights returned to Dayton to a hero's welcome. Catherine took on further responsibilities both in the business and the community. In fact, she helped spearhead women's suffrage efforts in Ohio. In support of an upcoming vote, she organized a parade in Dayton in 1914, where both her father and brother Orville marched along with over a thousand others. The legacy of this Dayton pioneer is still felt in Ohio today. Hawthorne Hill, home of the Wrights from 1914 on, still stands in the Oakwood suburb of the city and Huffman Prairie, the site of most of the early experimental flights, is just beyond the flight line of aptly named Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. These physical places are preserved not just for curiosity's sake, but as an everlasting tribute to American ingenuity, the power of a dream, and one brilliant, hard-working woman who helped make human flight a reality.